Okay, I'm gonna, it's, uh, lockdown day 21, uh, coronavirus, uh, day, day, uh, 407, uh, but I got a whole bunch of stuff to cover. So, uh, coronavirus cases are as dangerous as uh, back to the, um, the high numbers and, uh, an extremely high cases of, uh, of 4,505 cases today. So, so, uh, P Toronto and Peel region are really neck and neck right now. With, uh, Toronto and Peel region both in really high cases with, uh, Toronto with 1,257 and and Peel region literally just 20 behind at 1,237. So Dr. Lawrence Lowe said there's yeah there's absolutely no improvement there. 412 from the uh, York region, 247 from Ottawa, and 224 from Durham region. Uh, and all other uh, regions reported under the 200 uh, cases. Uh, uh, the death toll right now is 34. Uh, so, uh, if you were like, uh, so, so Doug Ford had uh, confirmed that uh, paid sick leave uh, for workers. Uh, so there's uh, that. So, so, but, so variant cases, uh, of course, I always talk about variant cases first. Uh, so UK variants are now at uh, 46,905, which is a plus 2,000, plus uh, 2,700, 134 South African uh, variants. Uh, which is a plus 21 and 224 Brazilian Brazilian uh, variants uh, which is a plus 6 so Oh, it's just, oh my god, I can't believe uh, it uh, pitted or like this high. So, topic one. So, oh wait, but as I will un mention, uh, so, so, uh, you can look at the previous uh, videos for like the border stuff, uh, I have to make room for a uh, new topic, so. So if you want to get vaccinated, uh, oh yeah, so I'll probably talk about this first, so. So if you are 40 plus, you're 40 or older, pregnant, or if you have like special uh, uh, diagnosis like me, you can register to get vaccinated. Just tell, just tell the people, uh, you know. So uh, apparently uh, the province said that uh, pregnant people can now book a can uh, now book an appointment uh, for a coronavirus uh, vaccine. Uh, so you can uh, do that at uh, Ontario.ca slash book vaccine or you could uh, go to w one 999 the toll free number. So, uh, that's so that my uh, topic two I want to talk about is uh, Canada is banning passenger flights from India and Pakistan for 30 days amid concerns over rising coronavirus cases from, and a new virus mutation. 
So there's a new virus uh, uh, mutation. So uh, so we already have coronavirus. We have the UK variant, South African variant, and Brazilian variant. And there's uh, another fifth one that we have to deal with. So, so in the last two weeks, uh, more than uh, 100 uh, international flights landing in Canada have uh, carried at least one positive uh, coronavirus uh, case on board, according to the federal government. And at least 32 of these flights were from India. And of course, we got to read up on it. So there's like a dog. So this uh, fifth uh, pro issue is that uh, is that the problem uh, is a uh, double mutant, uh, which is variant of a uh, which is uh, so uh, there's, so there's a, this is a India variant. Let's call it the India India variant because it's from originated from India. It makes sense. So, uh, so on Wednesday, it has been reported that the British Columbia confirmed 39 cases of the India variant, and and Quebec had one. So, uh, yeah. So this is why. So, uh, so the Can Canadian Canada Transport Minister Omar Algabra, he said, uh, addressed the uh, decision in the press conference uh, on Thursday, Thursday that uh, that uh, Canada is uh, a 30, 30 day ban on. Uh, all passenger flights from India and Pakistan from uh, as of now on. So, uh, so it's well not it's not labeled as a variant uh, yet, but. Uh, it's a variant of interest. They're labeled as a variant of interest, and uh, and uh, potentially it might be a variant of con concern, like the UK variant, South African variant, and the Brazilian variant. Uh, so let's just uh, hope the India, this the new India variant, does not make it that on that list. Uh, so. So, Donald uh, Vanna, uh, who uh, an, an infectious the disease a specialist at a McGill University Health Center, he's, he said, uh, if, if a variant can spread into another country, that means it, it has some capacity for survival fitness, and that usually means it's it's as or more transmissible than the current uh, strain of coronavirus. So, so that just worries us. So the this uh, the new uh, variant variant uh, is a. Uh, It was reported in the Indian state of uh, of uh, Ma Maharashtra late uh, last year with the two mutation mutations that uh, the E four eight four Q and L four five two R. So it's like there's two of these. Oh, there's this just makes it double trouble. So this 
it, it, it has quickly become the dominant version of the coronavirus in the western western state of India. So, uh, so this uh, Indian variant, the uh, Indian variant, uh, has landed in British Columbia, West Coast, and East Coast, and and right uh, in Quebec. So the the Indian virus has also uh, showed up in uh, these countries as well, uh, in United Kingdom, Australia, Germany, Belgium, then Namibia, New Zealand, Singapore, and the United States of America. So the E484Q, uh, the first one, uh, first uh, double, uh, is uh, similar to the. So it is like uh, similar to the, which is found in the E4 E484K, which is a, uh, which a variant of uh, thing, uh, in, which is in the uh, UK variant. The the South African variant and also so it's a similar part similar thing uh so so the third uh, and I got bring bad news uh, for USA right now but if you are in California yeah it's uh, the the India variant are is spreading across uh California state and it landed so uh Donald Vin Vin has uh, said that having the L L the, technically, the L452 R mutation will allow the 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 UK variant to attach better to human cells, making it more transmissible. So this means we're in trouble. So the L L four five two R is mutation is also been uh, so associated with weaker neutralization of the virus by con and uh, plasma from people who have been infected with the coronavirus. Because uh, having two of these two of the these uh, mutations which have been seen in other variants around the world. Uh, they're concerning because they're similar to these mutations and also uh, they can confer the increased transmissibility uh, according to Mary, Maria the Van, Van uh, Karkova who works for uh, World Health Organization uh, so we're in trouble so what makes this different from uh, other the but this means our the next uh, threat that we have to deal with is the Indian variant Okay, so then that's so so good news. So so uh, the news. So the person who tested positive uh, for the for the B one uh, so the India va variant uh, has been uh, vaccinated against the uh, coronavirus. Uh, so according to Quebec's uh, Public uh, Health Institute. Uh,
So apparently the E4 Eight for Q uh, mutation threatens to decrease the effectiveness of the vaccine, so that means uh, but uh, there's also chance uh, that uh, so. But there have been reports uh, saying the Professor BioNTech vaccine is effective against this uh, India variant, so. According to the Israeli uh, health official, uh, reported on Thursday, on Tuesday this week, this week. So, so in Israel, uh, the the India variant is now at eight. So, okay, my uh, the other other thing I want to talk about is uh. Two police, Toronto police officers were charged uh, after attending a, a large uh, church gathering in, in Elmer, on, Ontario. So, uh, so El Elmer, Ontario is a sort of uh, town in uh, El Elgin, Elgin uh, County, and uh, which is uh, Elgin County, uh, which is uh, the just north of uh, Lake Erie. So it's like southwestern Ontario. So apparently they were caught there being a. So, a Toronto police have reported their own two officers uh, from Toronto police uh, engaged in a verbal dispute with po with the police in El Elmer, Ontario, after officers in town in charge of them and and two uh, uh, others for and also two others for violating COVID nineteen orders at a church. Ouch. So, uh, El El Elmer per Police uh, Unit uh, had uh, on Thursday. Uh, so, they, these uh, police officers, they have uh, received a complaint about a large gathering at the Church of uh, God Restoration uh, around 8.30 p.m. Uh, tu on Tuesday, though. So, so, while the office... While the Elmer police were, were dealing with the two individuals on the parking lot, a group of 18 per people, people were observed exiting the church building. And there were several building, building uh, vehicles in a parking lot at the time. So, and Elmer police uh, no, mentioned that these people were not wearing masks. Or they were not social distancing, which technically violates against uh, any, you know, rules uh, in the public spaces or yeah. So if you were to go to church, come on. I, I, so uh, the release uh, it says uh, a man, one per one man is from North York. One woman's uh, from S Scarborough, and and two men from uh, the Elmer uh, area in town were charged with violating the Reopening Ontario Act. So two of the two charge, and of course two charges were officers in Toronto. So, but our, the confusion is how, what what would the officers in Toronto be doing in uh, in a small town in the sort of like southwestern Ontario and around Lake Erie.
So there was a Facebook post that saying, uh, what of a watch, they say no, no one watched these videos of police officers being charged for exercising their charter rights. Uh, and there was a hash, there was a hashtag, no more lockdowns, and be hashtag, we must resist, hashtag, we will living a lot. The hashtag living on no more lockdowns. I am uh, very familiar with that one because many people were trying to like uh, do that, and uh, we must resist. Uh, so just wait. Lockdown ends April thirtieth, and. Uh, And uh, the stay-at-home rules uh, end May 5th, uh, so they're done. But technically, uh, what's wrong here is uh, people are not wearing masks, high chances of a coronavirus and other vari possible variants of, uh, one, uh, don't forget that. And also two meters away from each. So the government, so like literally in the entire like uh, world uh, said mask, wash or sanitize your hands two meters away from each other if you're not from the same household. And yet people are still stubborn to not follow these rules. And there was a whole bunch of complaints from uh, these people uh, saying, oh, like, um, you know, they're, they're, oh, these, it's, again, it's these people acting like their uh, rights, uh, freedom rights are more important than the importance of literally everybody who is trying to, like, uh, fight against, uh, trying to, like, lower coronavirus cases, UK variants, South African variants, Brazilian variants, Maldi Indian variants, and having to deal with uh, stubborn people who are like uh, trying to like. The reason we have a uh, stay at home rules and lock and another second and a second lockdown is because of people who are who are just all only too single minded, stubborn, think only for themselves. And everyone wants this coronavirus nightmare to be over, but it's not going to be over. If, uh, if you do not comply to the following uh, coronavirus regulations, lockdown regulations, stay at home rules. And technically breaking the coronavirus uh, safety rules first. Oh, no, no. That's a big step in the wrong direction. So you better have your mask on.
So I don't think uh, these people realize uh, how much uh, danger we are in right now uh, with uh, and how much risk uh, we are at. Uh, so if uh, 4,505 uh, coronavirus cases, though, that's literally really close to 5,000. Uh, which really angers me and brings me to the topic that I hate talking about. The other one. Yes, it's the other one. I see you. So because of, uh, you know, people like uh, act on like that, we have a lot of people getting sent to the hospital. And many people who are in the uh, hotspot area, like high uh, coronavirus uh, case uh, areas, uh, especially, which is uh, basically in the greater Toronto Hamilton area, so this is what happens so uh these people uh they're getting in the center the ICU the critical care and uh but and then they have uh, nurses are uh, taking care of these uh, patients uh, but to have like a these the special training by uh, these people uh so the the nurse critical care nurses they have to have special qualifications in order to take care of these patients and the ICU they're trying to make sure they're not trying to pressure the nurses too much so like you know take care of the patients uh, but they these they have to like literally witness the uh, people dying uh, and I bet you don't know like what that's like and some people I'm like I uh, had as uh, I mentioned uh, like as previous Nurses, nurses, nurses at uh, Humber River College uh, Hospital in uh, Etobicoke. They said uh, they said lots of uh, people uh, they were getting traumatized. They they were getting burnouts, or they just like freaked out and just quit the job because it was just too much for them. Now. And uh, this is and. Uh, also, no, notably, the ICU cases uh, are like literally increasing above the weight too higher. So, it's serious. Serious talk right now. So this and all oh, this this is end up why and up uh, for weeks now uh, patients uh, in front an ICU uh, hosp hosp hospital the uh, and a G GTHA are being sent to out west to London out east to uh, Kingston and Ottawa. And uh, other hospitals, uh, and even though Kingston's uh, holding up against their having to deal with their own cases, uh, we should we should, you should be uh, thankful they've been doing that. So hospitalizations. Two thousand two hundred eighty-seven people are hospitalized. Uh, with the coronavirus uh, minus 63. Another record of uh, 818 uh, ICU patients, uh, an ICU plus 12, and 593 uh, of them in a ICU on a ventilator plus 5. They did not show uh, the the long term care home death. It's last time it's the number uh, shown last time is three thousand seven hundred fifty five since April fifth. Outbreak is currently thirty seven. Uh, I don't know if it decreased or uh, increased.
So please follow coronavirus safety rules and regulations, lockdown regulations, and the stay-at-home rules. Don't have any gatherings of any kind. Follow Ontario Quebec border rules of crossing the border for essential reasons. And, you know, stop thinking about, it's not just about you. And we have a new problem to deal with that, the India variant. So, you know, those who are actually complying with the rules, stay safe, get vaccinated if eligible. Hopefully we'll get through this.